Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge on Next Island, and I'm hanging out at Tanzanite View because I want to show you how to pick up some of the cool cosmetic items that uh, the Next Island has to offer. And the first thing I'm going to show you is one of the missions. It's the Magic Flower, the Purple Flower mission. And you just come from Tanzanite View here. Run right over to this guy, Frederick, and he's going to give you the mission. I've already completed this mission but I can still see the flowers. So uh, this is the response you get. They really do smell great. This is the response you get when you've completed the mission. But I want to show you how to do it. And then I want to talk a little bit more about all of the new cosmetic items from the daily missions that are available here. And you, and you have lots of choices. So these are the pants that you're going to get. These are the male plant pants uh, version. There's a female version as well. All you got to do is go and hunt the flowers for Frederick. And how do you do that? Uh, it's actually really, it's actually staggeringly simple. First, let's take a look in my Elysian Artistic Patterns book, which you will want to pick up. And here are the Haru Specs Sleek Pants. Uh, and I want to show you the requirements for this. And the reason I'm showing you this is because it's, first of all, these are rare. This is the only blueprint you're going to get for these. You can all... Um, for this mission, you can buy them on the auction house after completing the mission. But this is not a repeatable mission, which is which is too bad. I would urge the Next Island developers to make this a repeatable mission because the price on these is going to be outrageous because it's so difficult to make. And uh, even though this is a level one blueprint uh, and, and it's wool cloth, moldavite crystal, arginine crystal, and lesser elysia, those things are pretty straightforward to come by. But with only 10 clicks, even with 95% success, you're going to get a couple. You know, you're going to get the near successes and so forth. So I would just urge the Next Island developers to make this repeatable maybe over every 30 days, you know, or every week, once a week or something like that. Because this is a valuable resource. I mean, you're, the daily missions are repeatable. The chef's mission for the chef's hat, the pan, and the and the apron is repeatable. Why not this one? So that's just my suggestion. But here you are. This is a level one tailoring blueprint. It is straightforward, and it makes it. Uh, you're probably going to get one or two pairs of pants out of this, and they're while they're not customizable. That's okay. They are unlimited pants. So that's pretty cool uh, for cosmetic items. And that's what Next Island is becoming known for, is all of these cosmetic things that you can get from repeatable missions. Hint, hint. So let me show you how to proceed in a orderly fashion, so to speak. There is actually a pattern to this. And you're probably saying, Sturge, there's no pattern. Yes, there is a pattern. So you start here at Tanzanite View. There, one of the locations was right there by the teleporter for one of the blue flowers. And then right up here by the Elder uh, Haru Specs is another location. Obviously, it's not here. So that's okay. But just to give you an idea, when you take the mission, check this area. This is one of the few areas where there are multiple spawns, at least two that I have found for the blue flowers. And then we'll progress from there. Lest you think I'm kidding you, here are the waypoints that I have saved for these. Actually, I haven't even updated the 30th waypoint I, I actually find at the as I'm progressing through making this video because I have repeated this pattern seven times and it's damn near in order of the waypoint uh, list there. So one through whatever. Uh, so th th it is re it is reproducible, and I I did it last night. I report recorded some of this last night, and I'm coming back and I'm gonna re I'm recording it again today just to prove that it's real. You're gonna start here. You want to look at the uh, next island map. The quadrant I'm in is quadrant one. The quadrant to the left is two. The top left is three, and the, the upper quadrant to the right is four. The flowers only appear as far as I can tell, in the first three quadrants. I've not really, f I've only found one in the fourth quadrant, and it is actually on the edge of the first and the fourth. It is literally on the border, and it is out of the way, kind of hidden. It was just an accident. I was fruit walking when I found it. So what you want to do is just start here, and we're going to go to uh, the next, uh, we're going to start in quadrant one, and this is what Fenster's Landing. And what I'm going to show you is that 
the, the flowers are generally right behind a structure next to the teleporter. In this instance, the flower is not there. That's okay. This is literally me just flat out recording, which I normally don't do, sort of the stream of consciousness type recording. Uh, so we're going to go to the next teleporter and in Quadrant Run, and we're going to stick with it. Okay, so next up, we're going to go to Dressy Blue Ridge, and I'm going to show you... Uh, sort of one of the one of the parts of the pattern the pattern is literally quadrant one two and three it goes in that order once you start in quadrant one you'll start to find them in quadrant two and then quadrant three once you've, you've finished it up but you'll see like this little uh tent hut right here all you would really want to do normally is just run around behind and see that's usually where the flowers are. now there isn't one here but i'm showing you this because in in a little bit i'm going to show you that it's really super common once you get into quadrant two just a quick note, it doesn't have to be outside. There is a blue flower that spawns right here in Orpheus Cave. Just keep that in mind. It is literally right next to the teleporter. Next up, we're going to go to Screeching Hollow. And there's this big domed area here. There are two, three avatars here. And I'm willing to bet that none of them know this uh, trick. Or they've already completed it and they're making a fool of me. Right here. Blue flower right behind it. That's a theme. Anytime there's a structure near by a teleporter, there's a blue flower. I was tired of giving you negative results, so I thought it would be fun to show. Yes, there are flowers in these locations. So yes, look for the little dome-like structures like this, or uh, something to that effect, a ridge, or something in the way of your view to begin with once you get to the teleporter, and then go from there. Okay, from here... Let's go to the Ancient Ruins teleporter. This is a good one, and I can see the flower already right there next to the teleporter. This is a really good one. So as you can see, I'm sort of making my way down the map in Quadrant Run 1 all the way around. Uh, and now we're on the Ancient, uh, ancient Ruins uh, teleporter, and the flower is right here. Always right there. Great location makes it easy to get to the get these flowers quickly uh, and it can do probably 25 in a day okay one more cheeky sneaky here at pearl cove this one uh took me a while to discover when i first started this but because uh, i went the other way around the building but if you come around the back of the building the reason i'm showing you this is the render distance is very important it's a it can be really far away. It's about 50 meters or so. It's like 47 meters. So there you go. This is right behind the building in Pearl Cove. Always the same location. But sometimes you won't get close enough. So keep in mind that the render distance on the flower is really important. I have my graphical settings really low so that I can see all the fruits, rocks, and dung that appear on the ground. So if you've got your your render distance, your draw distance set much higher, you're much more likely to see these further away. I don't have that, so if, you've, if you're running the same type of graphical settings as I am, then keep that in mind. Okay, last one in Quadrant Run. I'm looking at, I was actually looking at the flower right when I came in, but you see the render distance was off, so there it is. Let's talk about teleporters. This is the last one for Quadrant 1. This is Crystal Bay, but I want to talk about all of the teleporters that you're going to need to accomplish this, and there are quite a few. As, as of yesterday, I was missing four of them. And so I got up 30 different waypoints f missing four teleporters. And it made all the difference yesterday in finding more, more flowers. As always, let's take a quick look at the Entropia Wiki. Love the wiki. The map has been updated. And this is where I was a little screwy a few months ago when I was actually recorded this the first time. And then I deleted all the footage. Very smart me. That's the noob sturge. Noob pattern searching sturge. That's what I am. So I was actually missing a, uh, right along the center line there. I was missing quite a few of those teleporters. So you can come to the Entropy Wiki and see where all of the teleporters are for Next Island. This is invaluable because you're going to need all the ones in, well, you're going to need them all eventually. But quadrant 1, 2, and 3 are the teleporters of the most value for this particular mission so there you have it as always the wiki comes through in a clutch situation where i was missing for the teleporters use it and love it live it learn it let's move on one quick side note you probably should pick up the mission from jamie the chef here 
before you go about getting your uh, your blue flower mission because you will be doing a lot of walking and you will pick up a lot of fruits rocks and ducks keep that in mind definitely pick up this mission so you can gather the fruits stones and the dung while you're doing your blue flower magic flower mission so the theme is going to be pretty much the same for almost all of quadrant two if the blue flower isn't obvious right next to the teleporter then it's going to be behind uh, a tent of some sort or an object in the area so each and every single time you come to a teleporter just do yourself a favor if you don't see the blue flower immediately run around look behind a tent uh, that's uh i'm just playing this footage over and over i'm not going to show you each and every single one of them but i'm just trying to get the theme across and uh and show you how it works now there's one different example here and this is the enchanted village. Now we can see right off the bat, the blue flower is right there next to the teleporter, but that's not the only location here in the enchanted village. And it makes sense because this is a Haru Specs area with all the little, the covered wagons, the cool gypsy wagons, as I might want to call them. There is another location and this is the, that, ooh, there was a stone on the ground there. See, like I said, you got to pick up that mission. Well, you got to pick up all your stuff on the ground. All right. It, right back here behind on the side of this building is another location for a blue flower in the enchanted village and then right next to this tree i have actually found two flowers spawned there simultaneously i have a screenshot of it not going to include it i'm trying to edit this video quickly to get it out cranked out so there may be other locations here in the enchanted village but those are the first those are the four that i know of and so i recommend just making even even once you've picked the blue flower over here, look at the other locations quickly. Because the blue flower can respawn in this village because it has four locations. So just because it spawned here doesn't mean it won't respawn here in just a few seconds. And, and multiple blue flowers can be spawned at the same time. Okay, so you've seen the theme. And uh, it takes some time. Uh, I found... 20 flowers in two hours last night and 16 flowers uh sorry five flowers in 16 minutes today so there's a little bit of randomness to it isn't tremendously random in the locations but starting quadrant one quadrant two quadrant three that's the that's the way to proceed and eventually you'll get your 50 flowers and that's pretty cool but the thing i did want to highlight is the multi-faction daily mission as well i just do drop mining probes but that mission is where you're gonna get a lot of the cosmetic blueprints that next island has to offer and that's how to get the sleek pants right here on next island hope that was informative if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe like the video and comment on it helps me tremendously thank you all for watching Sturge signing off ciao